Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing beautifully well. For today's valued viewer request, we've got from AARON996. After watching your Sonic Boom video, it got me wondering, at what altitude do other players no longer hear a Sonic Boom from another jet flying overhead? Right, so the listener is on the ground. How high do we have to be for the Sonic Boom to be inaudible? And we should probably tie this up with, as well as altitude, but laterally speaking, how far away can we be before we can no longer hear the sonic boom. Any predictions, Super RC? Two miles. Is that like slant range, yeah? Would you reckon it would be slant, like a slant range? RC thinks two miles slant sure. range. I'm gonna say, oh geez, that's actually really hard. I'm gonna it's say, longer than that. I'm gonna say three, I'm gonna say, th I really don't know. I will say three miles, uh, stand by. Here is a man, I don't know why he's World War II, but he is above him, is gonna fly, we're just doing altitude at the moment, directly above him from 10 miles out, an F-15C, nice big, loud, it's gonna make a nice big sonic boom. At 10,000 feet, 20,000 feet, 30,000 feet, 40,000 feet, and 50. Uh, do you want to try 10,000? Just go full power and fly directly straight, RC. And I'm going to see if yep. I can hear a sonic boom. Okay, let's check your speed. Okay, you're supersonic again. Okay, you're going over the top now. I'm listening, RC. Yes, I heard it. I heard it, RC. It took about... Honestly, I, I, I can't really tell about six seconds or something. Maybe more. Hang on, let me just think. Oh, I'm going to get nerdy now. 10,000 feet. There's 6,000 feet in a mile. It takes sound five seconds to travel a mile, I think. So that told me you were about a mile and a half from me. And you were. You were at 10,000 feet. That worked. Right, I'll see. Uh, go in yeah. 20,000 and let's try it again. Boom. Don't be silly. I'm, I agree. I should not be silly. Right, plane's gone over. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And I heard the boom. It was very quiet, but fifteen seconds you started to hear that. So fifteen seconds is three miles. Assuming that that said that you're about three miles away and you're at twenty thousand feet, which is right. Eighteen thousand feet is three miles. So it worked again, RC. Right. Uh, off All you right. go for thirty thousand. I don't reckon we'll hear thirty thousand. In real life, would I hear it? <laughs> Not. No idea. There must be a kind of a, a drop-off uh, equation. To know what the what the drop off is, oh, I think I know it. It's logarithmic, isn't it? It's the drop off of sound. So you could probably calculate. And now I've got to concentrate. And you are passing in. Mark, one, two, three, four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten, and eleven, and twelve, and thirteen, and fourteen. Yep, I heard it at 23. 23 and a half seconds, I heard it. Uh, sorry, 23 divided by 5. Come on, let's calculate. So 4.7 miles, that is, times 6,000 is 28,000 feet. And you're at 30,000. Yeah. Isn't this cool, Ozzy? Yep. We're confirming the how many seconds after, and that's confirming exactly or very closely to where you actually are. How interesting. Right. Um, this is all about now my ears and what I can hear, whether I can hear it, because it was right on the brink of hearing that. Okay, go with 40,000. I'd be amazed if I heard 40,000. I thought it would be like, it would just be on or off, but it's not. It appears to be, uh, I think attenuation is the right word, but it may not be quite the right word. All right. Mark and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten and eleven and twelve and thirteen, fourteen and fifteen and sixteen and seventeen and eighteen and nineteen and twenty.
No, I got I can't do the way up to forty. You can't hear it at that point. That I is thought I heard it, but my you know, it was my cat jumping off. The... How embarrassing for yeah. you! So th <laughs> about thirty thousand, at least straight up, is the highest, and we tallied that up with how many seconds? About twenty three, twenty four seconds, uh, and it is uh, thirty thousand is about five miles. Let's try laterally now. Okay, valid viewers, this time a little different. We're going to do RC on the deck, at, you know, five hundred feet, just enough so we do get line of sight. He's going to pass. I think adjacent is probably the best word for this, but we've got this guy here. RC will pass roughly where the mouse cursor is going. And this guy is spaced from the closest point to his path. One mile, two miles, three miles, four miles, five miles. Uh, they're actually nautical miles, but they're not that different, dissimilar from miles. So these are about 6,500 feet across. Right, RC, get in your aircraft and fly 500 feet ASL along okay. your waypoint, along your track. All right, here we go. Okay, there he is. I don't know when to start counting here, so I'm just going to have a guess. Two, and three, and four, and four seconds. So I counted slightly a bit wrong, or it just worked slightly differently to how I thought. But yeah, clear as stay at one mile, about four or five seconds. Uh, respawn, and let's go for two miles, I'll see. Yep, got it. In you go again. I'll get to my three mile marker. Right, three miles. Lateral. I guess it's just slant range at the end of the day. But... Yep, got it. About, I don't know, 15 seconds later, something like that. Okay, in okay. you go again. Four miles, and these are actually nautical miles in this case. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to see them. So let's just listen very carefully. Yep, heard it. About 20 seconds after, roughly. Okay, I'll see. So that was four nautical miles, which is uh, must be about four and a half miles. Uh, probably the final test, five miles, five nautical miles. Okay. Uh, go and do that, and then let's see if we can do a little bit of math. Okay. Five nautical miles, which is about 32, 33,000 feet. Oh, I can see you. Can you? So I might have heard just the smallest, smallest possible thing after about 30 seconds or so, but it really was. I, I have to draw the line at that's probably in order, inaudible at that point. Uh, I will be using a compressor for the video that you guys are hearing at home, so you'll hear the sounds much louder. But for me, I couldn't really hear that. So vertically, the cutoff point was about 30,000 feet, about four and a half nautical miles vertical. And it's pretty much the same laterally. We're not measuring this super accurately, but pretty much the same. Four nautical miles I could hear. Five nautical miles I really couldn't hear. So about the same. So the answer is about four to five nautical miles. At that point, it's starting to become impossible to hear. Lateral or vertical. And that's assuming the average human ear. So that answers the question. If you guys would like to go into that any further, I'm just thinking on the fly here, like, is there a way of measuring the speed of transition of the sonic boom in different air pressures? That's something where my brain immediately goes to. Or the propagation of spread of the sonic boom? Maybe there's something we could do there? I'm not sure. But um, you intelligent humans in the stream comments, uh, sorry, the video comments, let me know if you'd like to go any further with that. Anything else you'd like to add, RC? Nope. Okay, let's finish off with style.